Hello everybody and welcome back to some Mega Modded Gungeon. We are here once again, of course. Yeah, I have never baby. Named joining it's me, me for the I'm first back. time in a while. It's me. It's How is it going, baby? I started with this, the capacitor, Ooh. the disc gun, and the measuring tape. What is what is this thing? Uh, capacitor recharges your active item when you shoot things with it. Fire can if be I held think. to withdraw oh. ammo from the gun and charge your currently held active item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, basically that's... converts converts ammo to active charge. That's pretty I don't cool know idea. I don't know if it shoots anything, but I think it does. But I remember we've got, uh, showing, we've got the uh, disc gun videos here. of it, but I don't remember exactly what went on. Yeah. And yeah, disc gun, it's really good. You should use it. Yeah, I'm, I, to be fair, I'm going to. One of the plans we're trying to do today is going hella fast, because the spooky hollow floor, apparently I'm still missing having done something there, and so we're going to yeah. try and do that today. Um... And, um, <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. Uh, this thing yeah. is just, eh. So does this thing shoot? Okay, this thing does shoot, yes. So but then you can hold it down to charge your axe, if I see, okay. Right, right. That's now cool. that makes sense. Right, so I think, so we yes. use, I think we use crossbow to start with, to, like, plow through the early uh, floors. And we, we basically, we gotta <laughs> get to the se uh, second, uh, it gets the end of the second floor in, yeah. um... Under ten minutes, which is definitely end of the second of floor, beginning of the third, same same thing. Yeah. Yeah. If you get there in under ten minutes, the blue casing is guaranteed to spawn. Is there a chance of it spawning if it's like if you're slow, or is it just that's the only way to get it? I mean, how often do you get to the mines in under ten minutes? Not very. And you've seen it more than not very. You've seen it a couple of times. Yeah. So like. I don't know for certain, I'm just speculating based on what I've seen, but it probably has a chance to appear. But under 10 minutes guarantees it. And again, I could be wrong, but I'm just speculating. And if I'm wrong, uh, Bunny will be very Honestly, sad and he'll cry Bunny and I'll have to mop up his out. tears. So how have you been? It's been, a, it's been a while, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I have been good. I have been good. I am pretty, all, all chest drops will drop items instead of guns. I don't know if that's good. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it's worth a shot. You could get some really powerful item-based runs going. Yeah, yeah. I suppose I could always get guns from the bosses. But yeah, I've been good today. I'm, I'm, I was supposed to be doing watching some football today, which I was dreading, but luckily it got cancelled. And I'm here to save the day. Yeah. It was, it was me. I burned down the stadium so that you'd <laughs> record with me. Well, considering the reason the game was cancelled is because the the stadium, uh, the, the like, pitch was waterlogged. I don't know how a fire caused that, but uh, we'll, we'll, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> it was a cold fire. A watery fire. Yeah. Why am I getting all the largest fucking rooms imaginable right now? This is so annoying. Oh, I'm out of practice commentating. My voice is... My voice is... Uh... Out of, out of practice. Yeah. Trying to think of stupid shit. I can shit tell you, sound, you, see the... you sound horrible, I can tell. <laughs> oh, no, I sound like that all the time. Uh, did you see the mammoth meatball? Yeah, I did. What the hell? <laughs> I want it. I want to eat like it. just like the way they're like, haha, we found a way to um, to bring back flesh from this old animal. Let's make a meatball out of it. That's a gun, uh, so... excuse me. That's a gun. It probably only affects yeah, chests I, I, that I, are generated I, I after picking so. up the item. I would have thought so, to be but fair. It does make sense on a certain level that if you're gonna de extinct an animal, you're probably gonna de extinct a, like cells before you de extinct yeah. the whole thing. But the fact that they just made a meatball out of <laughs> mammoth flesh is so funny to me. Because it's not. Oh, uh, yeah, pardon me. <laughs> you were having a bad It's attack. not... Yes. It's not actual mammoth flesh. They didn't fish a carcass out of an iceberg and fucking defrost it in the microwave. It's just the same cell structure, isn't it? They took woolly mammoth genes, that, that, what they have. Yeah. Uh, uh, which isn't perfect, by the way. So they had to fill in the gaps, which they filled in by taking relevant genes from the closest living relative of the woolly mammoth, which is the, I think it's the African elephant. Mm -hmm. So they they filled in any gaps in the genome with African elephant DNA, 
and then they uh, injected it into a sheep cell. And then they just grew that, and it grew into a clump. <laughs> and I want to eat it. I want to eat it. Look at the tastiest treats. I mean, to be fair, like... That, like, there's probably a reason that we hunted them to extinction. They probably yeah. taste delicious. Well, I imagine it's because they were, like, so fatty and, like, like they could feed a lot of people for a pretty significant amount of time. Yeah. They had a lot of sustenance. I want to live in a future where we de-extinctify woolly mammoths, reintroduce them into the wild. And re-hunt them, hunt them to extinction. Uh, and and then we farm them. Oh, even worse choices. What's this? Uh, what's this I've got going on here? I got a disc on synergy called even oh. worse choices. Fuck! I don't remember what that does. Um, quick, hold on. Let me let me look it up. Let me look at my own wiki to remember what I've done. Uh, da, 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 da. Modding forward <laughs> slash once once. Uh, synergies. Open it up. Even worse. Okay, double damage. Oh shit, okay, that's very good. This gun deals double damage to enemies, but also deals double damage to you. So That's, that's completely fine by me. <laughs> Be careful. It's a little boat. A little boat room. But yeah, I, I have heard people say that, like, we should de-extinctify the dodo. And the first one that we bring back, we should have a European man bludgeon it to death as tradition. <laughs> uh, once we've got the first one out of the way, we can de-extinctify de them for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine de-extinctifying a species just to re-extinct it, uh, just for kicks, and then de-extinctifying it again? <laughs> That's some supervillain shit. Yeah, that really is. Like, like... <laughs> A uh, supervillain brings back extinct species just to have the pleasure of killing of them off. Rehunting it to extinction, yeah. Basically, just yeah. bring it back entirely for sport. <laughs> yes. Not even sport, just beating it to death with a club. Yeah. Like like a Dutchman. <laughs> the extinction oh, is such a fascinating concept, though. Like I think most people. Mm know about the idea from Jurassic Park despite the fact that Jurassic Park is one of the most unrealistic depictions of de-extinction yeah, yeah. because like dinosaur DNA is really old and grotty yeah they, they Whereas, sort of they sort of take it at like if you had perfect samples sort of thing don't they yeah well, but we don't but yeah exactly um, we don't whereas stuff like the, the mammoth and the uh What's it? Oh, I was saying it, Dodo, I said it like yeah. a few seconds ago and I already forgot, and uh, the Tasmanian tiger are three big candidates and they're all extinct recently because of humans, okay. so we have a lot of DNA on I them. may have made a huge mistake here. I've just fired the disc gun and then realised that the discs blend in very well with the background, and I have no idea where they've gone. Ah, uh, get fucked. They're behind you, by the way. They're standing right behind me, aren't they? <laughs> oh. Damn it! Oh, yeah, I saw that coming. Damn it! Saw that coming too. Okay, I survived. See if I can survive actually the end of the room as well. Do you know what? Let's uh, teleport away for a hot second. We're really wasting. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, that was fucking brutal. <laughs> I had no comment. Teleported away to try and oh. make sure I was safe while they despawned, and one of them fucking made its way through the door and hit me the moment I fucking teleported. I literally fucking telefragged myself. Man often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it. <laughs> Holy shit, that was funny. To be fair, the first floor was extremely slow then anyways, so we probably weren't going to make you... it. Unless no, I you just were skipped at seven the item minutes. rooms. Yeah, but I, had a, I, would have, seven I was, but I would have had to skip both item rooms to have 
Would it have taken it. you more than three minutes to open two chests? Well, no, but I'd have to do all the rooms to get to both those chests, and I still had almost the entire floor to go. I'd literally stop only done the out. rooms no, to the boss. No, no, stop pointing out the logical flaws in my arguments. That's not allowed. Stop. I'm still Commando so proud speech. of that arcade cabinet sprite, by the way. It's amazing, isn't I, it? Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I animated the cabinet. I, was, I wasn't sure what I was going to do for its idol, but the idea of the rat punching and then the cabinet moving like it was punching, I thought was cute. Really, really good, yeah. I like it a lot. <clears throat> oh, god damn. Oh, you're disgusting. I, uh, I, had, I had a binge day yesterday. It was, it was fantastic. So, just Saturday. Saturday's binge day. Yeah. What he means to say is that yesterday was Saturday. It is. It is. Oh, it's this one. Isn't this one that's, like, kind of disappointing? <laughs> what, the rift gun? No, I was thinking of something else. Never mind. Oh, so this one's this one's kind of, the, this, this one's kind of great. Rift Taker, I think this is called. There's damage yeah, over Rift Taker. Time it's like a popular video game Hell Taker. I don't know what Hell Taker is. Why'd you pause? Uh, I had to just check my volume. Um, I, for some reason, volumes only come out of one earphone, but it was uh, something I pressed on my in uh, in wire controls. Right, right. Yeah, uh, Rift Taker, like the popular game Hell Taker, which you should play. When are we getting a Hell Taker series on the uh, Turtle Melon channel? What's Hell Taker? Oh, it really, it really fits your uh, your channel. I think you should check it out. Right, okay. So the game, it's gotten a bit expensive because of like uh, economic stuff. Google Hell Taker Inflation, and you'll see what I mean. Oh lord, is it like, why the hell did I get hit there? That's such a dumb thing to do, stupid fucking idiot. Is it like one of those games that's like a crypto farm or some shit, and it's like just it's really expensive? No, it's a game that people make a lot of porn of. <laughs> that uh... was the joke I was making. God, you're thick, and not in the fucking inflation You're saying way. it was expensive? In the... Yeah, inflation. The boobs? I'm going to stab myself in the <laughs> neck. <laughs> I hate it when you when you make a joke and people just <laughs> like because because jokes are funny because they have that Ugh. moment of realization. But but I never have that. But, but, <laughs> no, you just don't. Uh, this morning I uh, I made a stupid pun and then my family just all looked at me blankly and I had to explain it. Um. Uh. I was walking, looking at the uh, the vegetables and stuff that were on the bench, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And I oh picked up a gourd, <laughs> and they all, I picked up a gourd that was on the bench, and everyone just sort of stared at me, blankly. It's like, yeah, what about it? It's like, no, it's a, no, it's a gourd. It's like, <laughs> oh, oh no, yeah, I didn't, I didn't pick up on that. It's like, no shit, you didn't pick up on. That. <laughs> it's the worst feeling. Yeah, I know what you mean. What boots are these? Bullet boots. Uh, shoot as you move in combat, not in regular rooms, because I, I conceived of that being an issue. It's it's pretty bad, but it, it's kind of useful. Yeah, it's interesting. If it, does it does it work with bullet effects? I'm guessing it does. Yes, it does. Sick. Um, probably want to use a different gun. I mean, you can. You probably want to use your good guns, like good fast guns, on the first couple floors and save. Yeah, your kind of, that's slow quite, guns. That's kind later. of why I was saying that because the reload and that shotgun's just too slow. It's a it's a strong weapon, but the reload's so slow. I think the rift take is better. Oh god! So I was fucking around earlier in Minecraft. Mm. They, you know how Minecraft does an April Fools update every yeah. year. This year's April Fool's update has been fucking wild. Really? I've not had a look at what it is this year. Oh, I'm half tempted to like drag Ooh. you into a into a survival thing just to play the April Fool's update for Event an hour or so. Yeah, that, that could be fun. Is it is it something you can play after today though? After tomorrow? Even? No, of I course. Don't, I, I don't, don't know how long is that on for. I don't know, because it's April 2nd for me, but I yeah, can still yeah. play it. Yeah, it's April 2nd for me as well. Um, da, 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 what, am, what was I going to Google? 
I don't know what Synergy Here Aftershock called Event Horizon does. I don't know either. Why are you, ask, why are you asking me? Because you made. Why are you made saying it like I should know? You made Planet Side. Yeah, so. I, I made Planet Side of Ganymede. I'm guessing I... maybe it has a chance to. Oh wait, no, it sucks them in. The the rift sucks them in. Oh neat. Okay. So I I'm trying to what? Where? 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 He's struggling. Oh, see, this is the importance of UI design. What's that? Uh, sorry, just buttons didn't look like they did what they do. Which is, I, I kind of hate, like, like, when a company, or when just anyone doesn't think UI design is important. Yeah, like, I know. Like, there's it's so many games, important. there's so many games that just have such awful UI. Honestly. Because people like... <laughs> Mo Modern Warfare 2, like, the most recent Call of Duty entry has the worst UI I have ever, ever played in a video game. And that means AAA, indie, anything. It has the worst UI I've ever experienced in any game. It's awful. Legitimately it's like just people, terrible. It's like people who have never taken a fucking high school level design well, class. What they did is they hired the guy that made the, uh, the UI for like Hulu, I think it was. And he just made the Hulu UI for Call of Duty, and it doesn't work at all. It's like, it just looks so bad. What the hell is this? It's Nemesis! Oh, good, good. This is good, this is good. I've not actually seen this many boss. I just knew it existed. Right, cool. Well, that was anticlimactic. But that mini boss is actually really cool. Yeah. Because it's cool. different every time you encounter it. Oh, is it? Nice. Nemesis has the ability to use active items. I saw I used the Persian Gun Friendship then. Yeah. So, she has different active and pa I think I think passive items and maybe guns, I'm not sure. And I say she because Nemesis in Greek mythology is female, but I don't think that applies here. I'm just going to say she. Yeah. Um, because she uh, has a randomized loadout each time you fight her, so in theory... She's different every time. Also, that does prove that it, it's fine. It does prove you don't need to do another blue floor. I'm I'm gonna um, um I'm gonna just leave to the next floor so that I've, I'm in time. Yeah. I've, I've left everything, but considering we got Nemesis there, I feel like I kind of have to. That that actually means that I think yeah, uh, yeah. if I you be able do, to do something wicked on this run, you can yeah. beat the. Oh, this is exciting. This is why I did it. This is why I just skipped that floor. I mean, I, I missed out on two chests there, which obviously isn't great. But I have no idea how long that first floor took, and I don't want to take any risks. Yeah. But you should have enabled the speedrun timer. Oh yeah, why do I not have that on? Gameplay. What is it under? Oh, speedrun Yeah, we, we, we were fine. I could have, I, I could have spent, spent a bit more time there for a while. Yeah. I kind of forgot that existed, I'll be honest. Also, this synergy for this thing is amazing. Sucking all the enemies in, making it so much better. Yeah. Uh, Bunny uh, expressed a lamentation that he believes that uh, you're just going to melt the boss. Oh, yeah, yeah. Without looking Definitely. at it. Every time he, I see a new one of his mini-bosses, I just annihilate it, like I just did with Nemesis. <laughs> Every single time. I find one of his new bosses and I always have a build that just allows me to instantly kill them. Yeah, this gun's a lot of fun. I should really keep the black hole gun as a secondary, really, because it is still a very valid weapon to use. Okay, I, I think I've just been setting it up in the background. Uh, duh, duh, duh. 
yeah, you can use snapshots on Atanos. So if you'd like, after after we've done this recording or something else, maybe, uh, depending on how much time you have, we can hop into a, a chill Minecraft recording and just fuck around in, a, in the April Fool's update. Yeah, that could be fun. Um, what's this again? All decorative objects uh, with a chance to replace with random money pots. Yeah, this is actually one of my ideas. Yeah, give it a go. Why not? Basically, I have seen gilded for... pots before, like in a yeah. natural secret room. Someone, someone made a secret room with them placed in it. It's it's Bunny. Bunny made the item, but it was my suggestion. Nice. Uh oh, there's a golden pot in there too. Oh, what's that? Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's quite oh a look, they're shit. everywhere. Yeah, what the fuck is this? I don't even give me any money. What the hell? It's kind. I guess it's kind of like table tech uh, money yeah, in that yeah, it's yeah. it's passive income, as the uh, as the crypto dorks would say. <laughs> God, have you seen the, um, you know Dan Olsen? Have you seen yeah. his channel? Oh, have you seen his big video he did about Decentraland? No, no. He did a video that's over an hour long on uh, the metaverse platform Decentraland, and I've watched it like three times because it's so fucking funny to watch idiots fail. <laughs> oh shit, that you know how there's like. Thingy room. God damn it. You know how there's like subreddits where people watch other people fall off bicycles or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that. I love, I love oh, watching people make sake. horrible mistakes. I damage. love it so much. That's why like this whole crypto NFT thing has been a blessing. Not because <laughs> it's a good idea, but because it's such good entertainment to watch it fail spectacularly. Wait, what? I failed and I still got my thing. It's a tick. I swear it said don't take damage, and I definitely took damage, but mm. it gave me this anyways. I don't know. Plus one bullets, yes. Yeah, never turn that down. Um, here we go. So, just take this yeah, um, the metaverse is such a funny concept because nobody who's pushing it actually knows what it is. No. <laughs> um, because, like, the metaverse is, it's so fucking funny. Also, this is an Amogus. Um, kind of? It's a very funky looking. Am Amogus. Amogus. My favorite uh, thing is that the metaverse is just the internet. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Like, people push the metaverse and say it's going to be the future, but when they describe what it is, they're just describing the internet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> going to revolutionize things, my god. Yeah, and it, it already has. Uh, it already did 20 years ago. 30 years ago. 40 years ago. Maybe not 40 years ago, I don't know. What was that? Oh, it was a vortex sucking him in. Yeah, it was very confusing for a hot moment there, wasn't it? Yeah, very hot moment. Scalding, even. Scalding. Scalding. There's a thing at the bottom. I see. There's a walk. There's a fucking walkway. What the heck? There's the bullets. Bullets go boom. What on earth? Uh, gives the wielder a chance to fire a burst of bullets around themselves. Okay. Oh, so it's just like a. The ring of triggers. It's like I saw from Isaac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Whoa! That was unexpected. <laughs> I don't. I still don't know why your audio settings make the game like make yeah, stacked like, sounds play louder. Like literally, my audio is this. Yeah. So for some reason, right? In, in my game, sounds playing are like on the same frame, like multiple sounds playing at once, yeah. don't stack. But for some reason, in your game, when multiple sounds play on the same frame, they stack and become louder. And I don't know why. I've just realized something. My boots firing can trigger the item that causes me to fire bullets in all directions. 
Oh, that's that's a good synergy. So, like, if I get out my black hole, for example, I didn't even fire it. I'm not even firing the black hole right now. It doesn't even consume ammo. Nope. <laughs> I mean, it's shit for damage, but you're never gonna get hit again. to actually see the fucking new boss, we're gonna have to outlaw this for the <laughs> boss fight. He's like, oh no, he's gonna get a synergy that destroys it again, and then I get this. So, yeah, so this is why, um, uh, Black... Sorry, I think there's a tornado <laughs> going on outside. I gotta speak up. So this is why, uh, Ring of Triggers has a an anti-synergy with Black Hole Gun. Yeah. It's so interesting to me that that Ring of Triggers has a specially coded anti-synergy with Black Hole Gun, because they they knew. Yep. They knew. And apparently we have not learned from the mistakes of our forefathers. Yeah, this is cool. This also means I can use guns once they've run out of ammo too, which is rather nice. Oh, synergy with this book. Booklet. Advanced am Aminancy. Am Amin Aminancy? I don't remember what that does. Um, right, uh, right. what am I doing on this floor then? When I go down here, what's uh, going on? You, ha you have to take the blue casing to the next floor and don't get hit by the thing. Take, take the blue casing to the next floor after the yeah. hollow. You are on the mines, take it to the hollow. <laughs> That's oh, the next okay. floor from where yeah, you're standing. Okay. And then what do I need to do when I'm on that floor? Do I just need to find the room where I place the blue thing? You you need to find your way to the end of the floor where there'll be a place to put the blue casing. And then that'll I need to give go you back a to red the start. casing. Yeah, that'll give you a red casing, and then you need to go back to the start of the floor. Can I teleport so try back and... to the start? Uh, I don't think you have a map on this floor. I don't think I do, do I? Yeah, so you can't teleport. You'll have to use your uh, memory, so just try and maintain spatial awareness of what rooms, what pause. direction you're in. You are terrible. vile. You <laughs> are absolutely vile. I was going to pause the video, but it just came out. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, okay. There's a 90-ish percent chance that I get hit by whatever's in this floor. Just dodge, you idiot. I will try my best, but I am very, very stupid. There's nothing to fight apart from the boss either, is there? Um, I, the boss isn't even there. There's oh, nothing to not? fight okay. on this floor. Okay, okay. I, I don't know if this floor still has chests. I mean, you can, you can look. Oh no, you do have a map. Neat. Oh, but you oh, can't what? teleport. There is what? enemies. Oh, this has been changed. This isn't dark anymore, what the hell? I definitely took the thing, right? I've got it in my inventory. It didn't say the hollow chamber 4 either. It said something like hollow binged chamber or something. Did it? It says chamber 4 hollow at the top no, of my screen. No, I mean when you, when you entered the floor, oh. the little pop-up that appears, it said something different. Hmm. So either, either this is intentional or it's bugged. Either way, it seems to be working out fine for you. Well, unless the unless the red thing isn't the, at the end of the floor. Yeah. Just... Well, it's not going to kill you to have to do another run. At least you know. At least you've got the RNG portion down by fighting Nemesis. Yeah. This is such a fun synergy. <laughs> This is one of those synergies where, again, neither one of the people involved thought of it. No. It's also one of those synergies that, like, I, I seem to be able to get these sort of things happening to me all the time and no one else does. Yeah, like, how? Like, I made boots that can trigger bullet effects, uh, which are, in general, a shit item. Like, they're not very good, which is why they're D tier. They're better than not having, but they're not good. But at the same time, like, someone else made an item that has a chance for a radial attack when you shoot a bullet. 
completely different mod, and now these two things are interacting in a horrendous way. A horrendously like, good way. I'm like, I'm confused though, because for one, it seems weird that it can trigger on things that aren't your own bullets, like that aren't the gun's bullets, but also, it's so common. Like, it triggers so often. It might be based on, uh... Oh god. So, it might be based on the gun's fire rate. However, however, since it's triggering on a bullet from the boots, that doesn't have a fire rate. Mm -hmm. So every bullet from the boots is considered an individual bullet, which means it's counted as being pretty slow, which means effects have a higher chance to proc on it. It seems that way, you know. Uh, that's just a guess. I don't know how the, uh, the bursting bullets or whatever it's called is coded. Not even going to check her items, so. Thank, thank God. Well, they're all curse items. I think I want curse items right now. Um, I'm just trying to smoke by um, the strong magic enemy or chicken. Stat boost at the start of the floor that decays over time into negatives. Yeah, see? I, like, it's a cool shop. I, I like them. Well, no, dude, dude, take the book. Because, like, what if it's a custom enemy or something? This one. Yeah, take the book. Okay. Because it's a chance for instant transmogrification or a chance to transmogrify into something strong. Oh, no, it's just Gundras. Either way, you're not in any danger. Yeah, that's true. Because it's like, look at this. Look at this synergy. <laughs> Ow. Thank God you turned it off while I'm uh, while I'm not in combat. <laughs> that would have been bad. Yeah. I, I foresaw this outcome. Oh, no, I didn't, but I foresaw it being, I know, probably kind of bad. Ah, shit. Ah, it fires one. individual bullets, yeah, not Yeah, it's always, shotguns always sad when, it's, when shotguns work that way. Also, yeah, so the problem with why it triggers on something that isn't your gun is because Gungeon doesn't have an, a proper way of telling when something is, when a gun is fired. Yeah. I, w I was there telling, isn't... do you remember, um, like, a few weeks back when uh, that person came to the Discord and said they were doing, like, a study? And they wanted yeah. to interview people. I interviewed for that. Um, and um, he was asking me about, like, getting into Gungeon coding and stuff, and I'm like, dude, the game's code is a fucking mess, so good luck. <laughs> right. I mean, you're not wrong. So, yeah, the game doesn't have... So, the way... Gungeon's code works is it's it's events, it's actions uh, in in Unity and C Sharp. What did you just pick up? I, I picked up Cluster Mine. It's got a synergy with the Gilded Pot. Huh. Maybe the pots drop mines or something. Oh, they explode. <laughs> oh, neat. Um, might be useful. That'll win you the run. Yeah. You needed that. Um, but yeah, so just a, a bit brief insight, I will try and explain it the best I can. There are certain actions that can happen in a game. And you can set up custom actions or do something else. Like, the game has a set number of inbuilt actions that items work off. Stuff like on dodge roll started, on dodge roll ended, yeah. on took damage, on enemy killed on combat start, on combat end, etc, etc, etc. Yeah. Oh god. I think that's an oh, appropriate gun this is to do that with. But you've neutered the boss now! We I've agreed! What? You've broken oh, the custom boss! bollocks, it's fine. Ah. Uh, at least, uh, if this does count for the unlock, you do unlock the boss permanently. You don't need to do this floor again. So, um, once Nemesis is defeated and this and something oh, also, wicked is defeated, it doesn't it doesn't trigger the black holes when I'm not shooting. I have to actually shoot to fire the black holes. Right, right. So when I'm using this thing, it doesn't break it. So, yeah, once something wicked is defeated and Nemesis is defeated. Uh, you permanently unlock the secret boss on the forge. So, oh, at bullets. least it's... I've got needle bullets and it's giving me piercing, which is... I was going to say not very good with this, but it seemed to kill actually perfectly fine, so... I mean, these rockets do have homing as well, so like... 
So let's hope the, the thing is here. It's not. It is not. Yeah, so something oh. definitely broke on this floor. <laughs> Shall I just give myself it then, or what? Like... Oh, well, there wasn't a thing to put it into either. Is there any way that I can force the hollow thingy floor? Is like a way I can teleport to it? Try reloading the chamber. Like, uh, console, load, yeah. load level. I'm just going to level. Yep. You can use the tab, by the way. Yeah. And now put hollow. And see if it, see if it loads okay this time. You can leave the console now, by the way. Yeah. We'll see if this one actually loads dark or if it's broken. I, def I definitely if got it the blue thing, right? I had the blue thing. Yeah, though. you do. Um, and if it doesn't work, we can just skip to the forge. Silenced chamber. That's what it said last time, yeah. No, it's still broken. <laughs> hmm. Let's pause. Yeah, we're just going to take a brief pause. Okay, we are back. Unfortunately, there is not a way to fix it, so we're just going to have to skip ahead on normally with the run. It is a shame. Unfortunately, for some reason, I break everything. Even though that hollow glitch has literally never happened to me before, on the one time we have the opportunity to fight the actual boss, it happens. Typical. Well, at the very least, Nemesis is dead. <laughs> yeah. We, we slayed that nemesis -y. And ne Nemesis is a random chance to find it, whereas the hollow thing is you know, something I can do every run, so it's a lot more repeatable. Yeah, so it's not the end of the world. You'll, you'll get it eventually. Yeah. So yeah, I, I spoke to Bonnie. We're going to send him an output log. He even sent me the pleading emoji, so you know he's serious. <laughs> and it's probably for the best, because uh, this dickhead has the most OP synergy I've seen in a while. <laughs> Yeah. That tends to be how it is. I always manage to find some ridiculously OP thing. Yeah, I, well, still, we want you to suffer, dude. Still need Can need you believe- to... Oh, this is also the silence chamber. Um... I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that's peculiar. Uh, it seems to be functioning as normal, though. Just, like, someone turned off the lights. Yeah. It's this. possible it's possible that because we loaded this floor, like skipped to it, instead of um left via the hollow elevator, that that's what main means this is glitching out too. Yeah. But could be, could not be. Doesn't really matter since if it's anything like last floor, it'll just be normal but a bit dark. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. Ow. Uh, also, I managed to lose two random hearts on Tanners, and we don't know why. Yeah, just happens. He's built different. He just kind of disappears. He is built like a creature of the night. His health vanishes. I was like, where's my fucking uh, black hole gun? I realized it's orbiting around me. Yeah. Oh... What were we talking about? I got completely oh, sidetracked. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Okay, who did it? Who did it? Yeah, this output log will be useful for more than one reason. I mean... Okay, I was gonna say it's not super broken. It is super broken. I'm, my rockets aren't moving anymore. What what items do you have? I can do like a... a um... Pause and open the Ammonomicon. I can do a, a field diagnosis. So, of these items... Probably this one, right? Best bullets or, like, new no. bullets? No. Uh, I'd say it's probably the book. Ah, right, yeah. Because it doesn't affect because on the boss when it touches him. This, the dragon... The glitched dragon is caused by... Um, is, is caused by... What are you doing? To reload the floor. <laughs> Why? So we don't have to fight that glitch dragon, I can just drop the book. Can you? I thought it was a cursed item. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I thought you could drop them. Bruh. We'll try it. Maybe, maybe you'll be able to drop it, maybe you won't, I don't know. Damn it. But, um... Yeah, the glitch dragon bug is caused by items that 
proc on hitting the dragon or things that try and identify the dragon because for some reason the dragon something in there when you try and identify him breaks unless you are very careful with uh your, how you run your code yeah like you need to null check everything because the dragon is a sussy bitch <laughs> and he loves to break when you don't null check everything so i guess that that item is just missing like one null yep, check to see it. if because because that item has to get the has to grab the enemy for lack of a better term has to identify the enemy in order to transmog them so i'd say when it's grabbing the enemy it's not properly checking yeah, yeah, yeah. which again is a very easy mistake to make because the dragon is a sussy bitch I've taken a lot of damage. Seriously though, I have actually thought of how interesting it would be if there was a uh, a champion dragon form that referenced the glitched dragon. <laughs> because at this point, it is like a special boss yeah. that you sometimes encounter in modding. And it's specifically the dragon, and it's specifically this shit. So like, I genuinely think it would be cool if you could encounter a... Uh, a glitch dragon whose bullets randomly stop and start moving mid-air. <laughs> that would make things a lot tougher. Like, like not in the glitchy, they stop and then they insta-hit you sort of fashion of the actual glitch yeah, dragon. Yeah, yeah, just like a reference to it. Yeah, just like a reference to it where it makes the attack slightly harder but still, like, doable. I I've, I've genuinely considered seeing if I can put that in once more into the breach and using the, uh, the glitch shader. Yeah. For it. Oh, have I told you about the time I once fought an invisible dragon? No. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but a long time ago playing vanilla, I accidentally playing skipped vanilla, the dragon. It? Yeah, so long ago it was when I was playing vanilla. I uh, I skipped the dragon intro sequence so fast that he never rendered. So he was still doing his attacks, but I couldn't see him. I'm about to die. How? That guy launched my missiles back at me. And I lost two random heart containers to nothing. He just disappeared. Skill issue. There's a heart on the floor, isn't there? Oopsie. Better not I remember the dog. Better hope we don't die this room. Didn't the dog dig up a heart at one point? That was that was the last forge floor. Oh, the last forge. The previous forge. The that forge. you left for no reason. Well, because the glitch dragon's annoying to fight, and I wanted to try and drop the item, but then I forgot you can't drop the item. Sisyphean. Rolling a boulder uphill. Hey, Bunny, by the way, you seem to love Sisyphus, so when are we getting the, um, the planet side item that uh, launches boulders, but then they roll back at you? <laughs> I got such a good weapon to use this weird shooting bug thing with. And you're going to lose it. Oh, <clears> damn, <throat> a classic. This is fucking classic, this one. The leaf blower. Yeah. This is one of uh, Retrash's guns, one of the oldest guns in modded dungeon. It's cl it's a classic. It's great. Yeah, Unfortunately, it's it does simple. Not work, it does not work well with my thingy shooty thingy. I was hoping I could fling, fling some monkeys out of me, but hopefully not. Ah, uh, not with that <laughs> attitude. God, I've Stop been trying to go through my the iron blocks, rockets. You can't kill them. Blame dodge roll for that. I hit the you room. have four blanks. I know, I know. Oh god, um, we're gonna die to the glitch dragon. I've been trying to go through my notebook and turn a lot of the stuff I've been researching into art or such, like doing inscription art, uh, yeah. doing dungeon sprites for old dungeon ideas from actual years ago that are still in my notebook because I'm like a little gremlin who notebooks everything. <laughs> and, uh. Classic. 
Died to a minute. Actually fucking classic. Yes. Oh, no better way it could have ended. Go back to the breach. Uh, this was a bit short, wasn't it? Eh, not really. It was like 45 minutes. That's a pretty average Gungeon episode. Yeah, do a, do a boss rush. Do a boss Before rush. Before we quit, do a boss rush, yeah. Okay. That's, your, that's an order, soldier. Good soldiers follow orders. What time is it? Four o'clock. Let's go to the boss rush. Ugh. Goddamn fucking breach takes so long to load now. It angers me. Little baby, little baby gonna piss his pants. Yep. Little baby. I know it's three pounds to ride, go away. Let's see how we go, shall we? What is this ad for? Why are you watching I'm sorry, I'm right looking at a, at a website. I'm looking at a website. What is this product? Oh, it's for sex toys. <laughs> Took you a while to click to that, did it? Well, it's one. Well, it's it's an ad for sex toys, so they don't just say what it's advertising. They're like, you might be surprised what we can offer, and I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is this for? What can Sorry, you I was offer? I was just I was just looking at that um, just double checking to see if I could change the server location for a Minecraft thing if we do that Minecraft thing after this, and it has ads on it because it's one of those websites that has a pop up if you have an ad block, so I have to turn the ad block off for it, which is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a free service, so I don't really mind. But it's like, I was going to comment on how half the ads are ads for ad block, but like, <laughs> what, I, on the side, there's just a picture of a woman wearing like fluffy Easter bunny ears and being like, rabbits can deliver more than just eggs. Oh gosh. Click, click to find out what all the buzz is about. And I'm like, what the f Fuck! What is this? What is this advertising? Thanks. Is it Ian. advertising bees? This gives you quite a lot of charge for its for its ammo. Neat. I'm glad that the capacitor like got changed so it can be actually be used as a weapon. Yeah. Because it good. used to be shit. It used to offer more charge per ammo, but only have three ammo, and it was terrible. And then Bunny oh. made it really good. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, it was. I never used that thing before. Yeah. I didn't and now it was it's the good. same thing. Yeah, he respritted it and everything. Just try using it in combat. You may as well. Pretty serviceable, it's actually. Just an, it's an electric shotgun that has a the ability to recharge actors. And it has piercing as well. But, uh, yeah, I was so confused what that ad was about, so I had to Google the name of the company, and it's like, uh, uh, what is this? Fucking company name is Leading Retailer. Oh, sex toys. <laughs> so I, I guess that's what the, the buzz pun was about. It was, a, it was a vibrator joke that I missed. I'm, I'm so clever. <laughs> I wish they'd explained it to me like I have to explain jokes to everyone else in my life. Holy shit! It's 3 a.m. The Five Nights at the Freddy's. The Five Nights at the Freddy's. Yes. You excited for the film? Whether that's coming out? I mean, I've been. They've been talking about it for actual years, like probably coming up on half a decade. I didn't realize it'd been that long. It's old. It's old. I think Scott Cawthon's been real picky about who he works with, which is fair, because he wants to make something that isn't trash. But at the same time, it's a FNAF movie. I'm going to say it's going to be trash. <laughs> God, I still have chocolates left over from Christmas. What the hell? Ow. Well, because chocolate doesn't go bad. Yeah. So I've been in no rush to eat them. Why not? <laughs> I'm going to say, I think normally when I get chocolates over Christmas, they're gone by, like, January. <laughs> On by December 26th. Oh, honestly, yes. Most of the time I just spend the entirety of Christmas Day eating most of the chocolates I was gifted. But no, like, 
I feel like as I've gotten older, my sweet tooth has definitely diminished. Mm. Like, if I eat too much chocolate, it makes me feel kind of kind of sick. Yeah. So I, I just, I, t I pace it out. I take my time. Ooh, I've got a synergy with this thing as well. Discworld. The Elder gone. Turn to the Elder. What is Hell this? Yeah. Hold on, let me check my own wiki again. Oh, it's got very strong herming. Okay, yeah. So it's a homing synergy for both the gone and the uh, disc gun. Oh, okay. Okay, then. Disc, disc gun doesn't have as tight homing, but it is there. Actually, so, I'm, I'm not going to do it on this bitch, because I, I won't be able to see any of their uh, shots. Yeah. So synergy, gone gains is a six shot burst and gains homing uh tight homing this gun has weaker homing and also can't deal fatal damage to you it's pretty damn good it can it can still hit you but if the damage would kill you it doesn't deal damage nice so all i've got to do is get myself down to death's door and just sit on there forever yeah i mean that's where i am <laughs> uh, I'm on dying. the precipice, looking over the gorge. I'm dying. I stared into the abyss, and the abyss filed a restraining order against me for looking at it. <laughs> Bro, champion boss. Let's go. What does it do? It it's just, it's just a heal champion. But the thing is, it only ah. heals when it dies, right? Yes. You have created a hell. This is the real bullet hell. There you go, it healed everything around that it when a, it died. It was a very useful uh, champion effect. You ever had that thing where when chocolate melts and then like re-solidifies in hot weather it turns white? White? Not really, no. It's like milk chocolate, so I imagine it's something related to what they've used to make it. That is just turned, caused it to go white after melting and re solidifying over and over again in hot weather in January. Ah, shit. It tastes good though, chocolate doesn't, doesn't go say, off. Yeah. So it's like, it's good shit. I like, I like to think for some, like, it's just weird to hear you say, like, oh, chocolate melting in January. It's like, no, that would never happen here. <laughs> it is the coldest time. Dude, you, you will never know the joys of a summer Christmas. Actually, I will. I went abroad for Christmas a few years ago. It was very nice. But never in my home country, no. God, the UK is so sad. Yeah, Wait, is. why is Christmas so sad where you are? It is a bit upsetting. Get get a better Christmas. Demand better from your country. <laughs> right, this gun's doing pretty fucking well so far. I'm liking it. No boss DPS oh. cap makes uh, this gun incredibly good. See, this is what I'm saying. This gun is the best gun. Which gun? This gun. This gun. This gun right here. But it it is genuinely so nice to, to live in a place where Christmas is is hot. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I prefer if it was never cold here. It does get cold here, but it uh usually gets cold different times of the year. Because that's that's how seasons work. I realize I'm just describing the <laughs> axial tilt of the planet. Oh. When are you going to come out so we can go on a romantic uh, boat ride out in the sounds? It's going to be a long while, I think, unfortunately. It's, uh... Yeah. 
It's... I want to finally get the opportunity to drown you. <laughs> it's not only is it an extremely large amount of money, but it's also quite a large time commitment too. Because like, if I'm coming there, there's no way I'm coming for any less than like three weeks. Yeah. It... Now you know what it feels like to be a New Zealander trying to holiday in any other part of the world. So, yeah, it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be a little while, I'd imagine. Like, genuine, that's the, like one of the only things that makes me sad about living here, is that it's so far away from everything else. Like, the only, like, you either go for a holiday domestically, or you go to Australia. And yeah. going anywhere else, you need to be going for at least a month to make it worthwhile. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. Did you see that that disc just slipped into the fucking elevator while I was getting in it and hit me? <laughs> yeah, you deserve it. But yeah, it would, it would definitely to, be... You want be, to come with. It would be very, very nice to come, uh, to come to New Zealand for multiple reasons, but it is just pretty impractical at the moment. Yeah. I keep bullying him and telling him to come, but he, he won't. He won't. He's, he's a bitch. I'd have to spend most of my savings right now to, to come. Like, I keep, I keep telling him to come, but he's a bitch and he keeps edging. So, I like, do. I, don't know, what I to, edging, well, don't know what to do. First hit in the dragon fight to a disc, by the way. Yep. I, I love how you can actually see how they're, like, yeah, you can. homing, but not really. It looks weirdly pretty. Now, this is where things are going to get quite fucked up. Really adds quite the extra challenge to this portion of the fight. But luckily, I only got hit once, and it was actually the perfect time to get hit, which just gave me bonus damage, so... And now for the glitched Amanomicon, again. I think that might have been fixed, I'm not I, sure. I, I'm going to say it isn't fixed. Oh no, it is fixed. Okay. Right. Yippee! Huzzah! What a run. Now, close that and give me the output log. Because Bunny is foaming at the mouth. He's got rabies. <laughs> he's a rabid rabbit. Oh, shit. If we don't give him the output log, he's going to go curse of the were rabbit on us. Oh, buck wild. Right, anyways, we'll end off the episode here. Um, a pretty interesting one. Too really, wild. really cool synergy. Um, unfortunate miss out on the, uh, the, the final other boss. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye.